Hey, look, guys, I'm a trust haters coming at you with another quick video. This is the fourth, I believe, video of our Node.js tutorial series. And um, basically in this video, I'm just going to be looking more at Express and starting to look at, you know, like dynamic um, content being passed in uh, by the user. Uh, so basically just at this point, I'll get rid of this. I'll just get rid of this route altogether. Um, I'll just get rid of our profile. Uh, no, we don't want that. Uh, I'll just get rid of the profile and um, yeah, we're sorted. So at this stage, what I'm just gonna quickly do is I'm just gonna separate out uh, the routes. Um, so at this point then I can have like a routes file and then what we can do is we can require this file. So this is what I was saying was um, we can require a file that we make as well by using dot slash and then routes. And uh, basically at this point then what we can do um, yeah, let's um, let's take this. Uh, so what we can do is we can say routes app, and basically what that's gonna do is um, run whatever we pass in here. So we're gonna create a function to export here, and obviously the parameter being passed in is the app itself. And what we can do is then we can set our routes in here. Uh, so actually I'm just gonna put this in here and uh, yeah we can just have our routes separately in here so then as you can see obviously then if we run this server uh, and we go here then this is the exact same as before uh, except this means that basically we're in another file now you know we have this separated from this logic here so at this stage then obviously we want someone to dynamically pass in some data so um, for example then uh, slash profiles. Uh, let me just quickly set set up this right here, and then what we can do is uh, I should have just kept that um, file in there. So we create a new file in our views called uh, profiles.html, and basically what what's going to be in here is, um, for example, a user profile. Um, so that's all we're going to put in for now. Let me go to slash profiles, and this is going to be a user profile. So at this stage then, we want to know which user the person is referring to. So for example, if we have a database of you know 10,000 users and someone wants to look up a user, so for example in Facebook, so you'll, you'll probably notice in Facebook then that we have you know slash profiles and then slash and then some sort of ID. So you can see from me testing before, we, I did this before with another site that I was testing. So for example, then if we type in an ID here, one, two, three, so obviously we haven't set it up yet, but we want to go and find the user with, you know, for example, an ID, or we can do it by username. So I can just do slash Almatras, and we're gonna want to go and find this user, slash Almatras' details, and we're gonna feed this back. But how do we get this out of the URL? So what we can do in here is, we're gonna have parameters uh, in the URL, Okay, so we can pass this in in two ways. We can pass it in in parameters, or we can pass it in, in a query. So I'm gonna show you the parameters way of doing it first. So basically inside of here, this is obviously slash profiles, but we have another part to this. We have a slash and then username. So we can do slash, and if this is gonna be dynamic, we can use a colon before it. So we can use, uh, so for example, username. So if we do colon username, then this is gonna take this part of the URL as any value whatsoever, and that's what's gonna trigger this route. So at this point then, to access this username, this is basically called uh, rec.params, uh, and then the actual name of the parameter. So at this point then, we can render profiles, but as we can see in here, we can pass stuff in, as you saw in the last video. So we can pass in the username, rec.params.username, and then at this point in here then, we could do a paragraph, and then we could just say username, and then we could pass in the username in here. So at this point then, if we render this, as you can see, username is Almatras. So if we go in and pass in a username of hey, it's gonna say username hey. Now obviously in, a re in real life, this would obviously go and do it on like database queries or whatever and get the user's information to pass back. We wouldn't directly be using this, but this just shows you that we can use this value to pass then back to the user some dynamic data. So in a normal HTML document, this obviously has to be static, but then we're starting to get, you know, more dynamic uh, sorts of documents now where, you know, if you go to Amazon, you know, it's obviously gonna be the same page for everyone. Everyone's viewing the same page of searches, but it's just different for, you know, how, whatever the query is. Uh, so the difference is then uh, between uh, parameters and queries then, we don't need to specify this. So 
for example, if we if we were doing profiles and we were uh, doing a query instead, then we could do question mark uh, username equals Almatras. So you'll probably know about you know like parameters. Um, like queries, query parameters. So we can pass in anything that we want to the end of a URL by doing question mark and then certain parameters and then we can do and. So we could do um, username Almatras age 20 and gender equals male. So if we pass this in then, um, I didn't save this yet, so we pass this in. So how do we access this stuff? So first of all, uh, I'm just gonna do this in a, in a variable. So the name of this is request.query and what the request.query is, is actually the query turned into an object. So if we log the query then, and we look at it in the console, you can see that we have an object of the data in here. So at this point then, I could just pass in user and then um, pass in the query in here. Uh, so then at this point, we can use dot notation. So we can say, um, well, what did I do? Yeah, user.username. Then I could do age, user.age, and I could do gender, user.gender. And at this stage then, we should be able to see what we pass in in the URL in here. So as you can see, we pass in the username, which is Almatras, and we can feed that back out here, the age and the gender here, and these all just feed back round again. So there's just some tips uh, for this video just uh, on how you can create dynamic content uh, with Express and uh, I'll see you in the next video.